the scaredy cat. There was once a cat who lived in a big town. His name was Stanley, but everyone called him Scaredy Cat because he was scared of everything. He was scared of planes and trains. He was scared of boys and noise. He was scared of heights and kites. He was scared of frogs and dogs. Stanley was the biggest scaredy cat in town. One night, Stanley went for a walk with his friends Tabby and Snowy. Something small and furry ran past. A mouse. Let's chase it, said Tabby. Let's not, cried Stanley. The mouse ran into a house. It looks like no one is home," said Snowy. "Here's a cat flap," said Tabby. "Let's go in." "What if the house is haunted?" said Stanley. He shivered, but he followed his friends inside. "Now where's that mouse?" said Tabby. Suddenly. The mouse ran across the hall, and down to the cellar. This way," said Snowy. Snowy and Tabby raced downstairs. It's too dark down there," said Stanley. "I'll stay here." Now, Stanley was all alone. He felt really scared. Maybe I should have gone with him. After all, he thought. Just then, Stanley felt a bump. Something was in the lounge. What was that? He wondered. It went bang, bang, bang. Come quickly, Snowy! Called Stanley. There's a giant in the lounge. Snowy raced up the stairs. A giant? He cried. Are you sure? Snowy crept into the lounge. It's just a window banging, Snowy said. Well, it could have been a giant, said Stanley. You're such a scaredy cat, said Snowy. I've got a mouse to catch. Snowy ran back downstairs. Just then, Stanley heard a noise. Something was in the bathroom. What was that? He wondered. It went woo, woo, woo. Come quickly, Tabby! Called Stanley. There is a ghost in the bathroom. Tabby raced upstairs. A ghost? He cried. Are you sure? Tabby crept into the bathroom. It's only the wind. Tabby said. Well, it might have been a ghost, said Stanley. You're such a scaredy cat, said Tabby. I've got a mouse to catch. Tabby ran back downstairs. Just then, Stanley saw a lump behind the curtains. What's that? He wondered. It went grunt, grunt, grunt. Come quickly, Snowy! Yelled Stanley. There's a monster in the lounge. I don't believe you," called out Snowy. The monster came closer. "Come quickly, Tabby!" yelled Stanley. "There really is a monster in the lounge." "I don't believe you," called out Tabby. 
the monster came closer. Still, it came closer and closer and closer. Now, it was right on top of Stanley. Stanley tried to run, but he was frozen to the spot with fear. The monster tripped over Stanley. It got tangled in the curtain, spun around and around, and fell with a thud on the floor. Snowy and Tabby came upstairs. The lady who lived in the house came home. A head came through the curtains, but it wasn't a monster. The lady stroked Stanley. Looks like you just caught a burglar, kitty cat. For the first time in his life, Stanley felt brave. The lady gave Stanley a special reward for catching the burglar. From then on, Stanley wasn't afraid of anything, and no one called him a scaredy cat ever again.